guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i'm going to ikea thought i'd bring you guys along with me the ikea local to us now is only about 15 minutes away so we have been once before and i picked up a couple of things so i just wanted to head back pick up a couple of more i'll show you what's new in store and then i'll also show you at the end of the video when i'm back home everything that i ended up picking up i also have some pr packages to open a couple of little mini home updates with the new house so if you are excited for this video do give it a thumbs up make sure you're set and ready with your nice cozy drink of choice today i've gone for a gingerbread latte and i also picked up a bacon sandwich because they're only two pounds when you buy a drink so cheers to everyone watching thank you so much for tuning in do subscribe if you're new and let's head to ikea i do love an ikea trip and this ikea is good it's the one in manchester ashton underline really really good so first things first is this little display that they had on entrance i spotted these seagrass hanging pendants at 13 pounds absolutely love them couldn't find them went home and realized they were out of stock so i am keeping my eyes peeled for when these come back in because i would like to get my hands on a couple just to kind of give you a brief overview of what this little section is going to be i decided to do a voiceover because it ended up being kind of busy there was music background noise and i just thought you know what with the mask and everything i'm just going to share with you some clips do a little voiceover, talk you through some of the bits, play some nice festive seasonal music and just have you guys come shopping with me because I feel like Ikea is one of those stores that they just have a lot of inspiration. The way that they decorate visually merchandise the store just gives you a lot of inspiration for taking things from their scenes, their little room setups that they do and bringing them into your home. The little sections were quite well cordoned off in that there were signs everywhere. If you were within a bubble, you were only allowed in the bubble if it's like your family in that room, if that makes any sense at all. So take this room for instance, cozy setup. So of course I had to head on in and see this little fire thing that they've got going on. Uh, but I was the only one within that room at that time these baskets are amazing i did actually pick up a couple and i'll show you guys them in closer detail at the end when i haul everything that i got This lamp, oh my goodness, I really wanted to get my hands on it. They again didn't have any of those in store. So hoping next time I go back they have them because I loved that black and linen. Black, linen and white. No, let me rephrase that. Black, beige, white and loads of different textures is the theme for my house moving forward just in case you're interested. So I also spotted they have some festive bits in. They had a load of Christmas things being brought out to the shelves as I was filming. So I managed to get a few clips of a couple of things here and there. I actually didn't pick up too many. So take note in this section of everything that you spot because um, I will share it with you the couple of bits I did actually go for at the end, but I'm tempted to maybe go back and stock up on some more as we head into November, December. We will see, we're already in November. I, I've just realized that, but you know what I mean. I love the little white house there. I'm kind of collecting a few as and when I see them. So you'll see them in upcoming videos very soon. But yeah, I'm kind of wanting to create almost like a little village set up with white houses. I just think they're so cute.
They had a lot of festive baking, festive treats, and I really, really loved this kind of ceramic uh, oven dish and little ramekins that they did. Also on the hunt for a plain glass cake stand, of which they had a couple. They had that white one, but I wanted it with a glass dome. They have some of these new champagne coupes, I think they're called, and they also have the little bowls with lids that you could put maybe cranberry sauce in on your Christmas dinner table. How nice would that be? And I fall into peace and silence on a fairy I was on the hunt for curtains, so we're heading into that section now. I know these are throws, but here are the curtains. This one, the Lenda, 19 pounds, amazing. So hard to get hold of. So they did have the gray ones in stock, but I wanted the white. So I ended up going with some more expensive alternatives. How cute is this little setup with the florist? It is all faux flowers, but I love the fact that they have a separate florist section in this store. Nearly got my hands on this, 12 pounds. How beautiful is that kind of finish, that texture? I love it. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time. Last but not least, we're heading into the bargain corner, my absolute favorite section to have a browse in because you never know what you might find. And in this case, I did manage to find a couple of bits which I got my hands on. I really, really loved this kind of amber glassware and also this cast iron candlestick holder. It was so heavy, but I decided to leave both of those on this occasion. I'll just finish taking you through the finds that I spotted in the bargain corner and then I will meet you back in my car very shortly. Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. Still got my. Oh, did you just see inside my mask? It's not a pretty look. I even. I just don't know why I bother with makeup. Anyway, right next to the IKEA in Manchester. Let me spin you around and show you what there is. Five Guys, which I'm so excited about. I remember living in America and it coming out in America at the time that I lived there and it was so good. And now that it's in the UK, it's just reminiscent for me and I love it. So Tom just called, he's en route back from work. So I'm gonna pick us both up a Five Guys for lunch. Nice little late lunch. I stocked up the car. I'll show you guys what I got in a bit. First stop, food. We're shoozing off at the door now because we have a little update. We've got some carpets in here. Should put the TV on, feet up for a bit and have a bit of a break. Yeah. Oh my God, it's been so long since I've had one of these. How yum does that look? Oh yeah. That does look good. How cute are my little pumpkins? We got from my American haul, as did I get this. Mahogany teakwood candle, so. Let's get cozy. I need to cut them, wick, trim them wicks actually, but I'll, uh, you trim them. next time. <laughs> oh, home sweet home. <gasps> what was that? 
What are you like? <laughs> and I've also got home to a big delivery. I have no idea what this is. We'll open that up later as well. Okay. First thing that's not actually from Ikea, it's from B&Q. Um, you may a little sneak peek into a kitchen makeover on a budget. So to do the worktops, I got the marble adhesive and I actually picked up this one when I went previously and I've already opened this one up. So I got two rolls of this. I've taken the other one back, but I'd already cut into this one, unfortunately. So I'll find another home for it, but it's quite a dark gray and everything else is kind of like a light, subtle, warm gray. So I switched it for this one, which is a much whiter marble. Hoping this one will work. Stay tuned for the kitchen makeover video. See how, if I even end up using that. They're six pounds each, and I'm thinking about doing the splashbacks with this as well. So anyway, save that for that video. Look at us matching in our hoodies. Where's yours from? Uniqlo. Uniqlo, oh, mine's H&M. It's all this shopping, it's a workout, tell ya. I suppose the first thing we can mention are these new bags that Ikea do. Obviously far more aesthetically pleasing than those blue and yellow things, and they're only £1.50 each. So I actually bought a few of these. I thought they'd be handy in the move. So we did use a couple of them, but I just really like the fact that it's cream, beige. They zip up as well, which is better than the, the other ones. Oh, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at cream, beige, and beige. You're laughing at my cream and beige? You know that that's my style. Okay, moving on. I also picked up these magazines just because en route out, I thought I would pick them up, have a browse when I get home. Oh, that's man. your car. Why does it keep going off? Anyway, yeah, you just get these free on the checkout and I've got the 2021 kitchens, cushion inners at 65 by 65 these ones are, six pounds each and I got five of them for these five cushions on the back of the sofa, just because they're quite flat, lifeless and they're not ones that you can fluff up. I like it, yeah. You just get cosy there in the corner. Look at me, look. With your tent shoes. I'm tired already. Tired? Retired. Oh. What should I show you next? I got a couple more of these storage systems. Again, just the more storage, the better for us right now in terms of being able to like unload and store things in nice new packaging, new, new boxes. So these are the Scub range. They've got loads of different sizes and everything. These ones are the 93 by 55 by 19 centimeters and they're good for under bed storage. I also got two sets of these glasses which are called the Vardagen. They are ribbed and I'm really into ribbed glassware at the minute. I feel like it's nicer than... What's ribbed? Ribbed? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> uh, carry on, I promise I won't laugh anymore. Look, you're gonna have to vacate the that'll building. Be good, that. that'll be good, that. Oh, that'll be good then. Thomas. So I got this set of six and I'm kind of when I'm shopping for new things trying to get sets of eight things because I feel like that's a good number to get if you host in the, fu <laughs> in the future because let's face it we're not hosting at the minute. So I got this set of six but I did also pick up another one. I feel like you can never have too many glasses for just waters, squashes, soft drinks. So yeah, six of each. They do come in a smaller size as well. This is the bigger size at 43 centiliters and it's four pound for the pack of six. The smaller ones that they do are three pound for a pack of six. Okay, now here is where I may have messed up. So I got these curtain poles for in here. We're gonna put up some new curtains and I've seen these ones in um, Ikea. I'm not gonna lie, for Ikea, they are the more pricey end. They are, I think, one of the more expensive sets that you can buy, but they are 100% linen, and they just have a really nice, soft finish to them. So for the set of two, which are 145 centimeters in width by 250 centimeters in length, they're a really nice, kind of off-white, creamy colored linen. I absolutely love these. I think these will fit. But the poles that I got, I got one for the middle window, 
which is extendable so that will be fine but i feel like these two which are for the outer two might be where did you measure it did you measure it no, I the pole to pole or did you measure it window to window, window, to window yeah. so it'll need to be bigger anyway i did get some more brackets because i noticed those ones have come off they're not for them huh the brackets won't work with them Oh, well, so I've got new ones anyway. Um, so yeah, these are only a pound each, and this one was two pounds. And the actual curtains that I went for were 45 pounds for the set of two. So we have one, two, three, four we needed in here. So I did get two packs, but we might get maybe thicker non-linen ones for in the bedroom to like block out the light and keep the heat in a little bit, but for in here. I think the linen ones will work really, really nice. And in the future, this is going to be probably a more formal living room in here with a dining room in here if we up and move that kitchen to the back of the house. I'll talk more about that in a moving update, moving vlog type video where I can run you through all the plans and everything that we've got drawn up from the architect. I'll show you some home decor pieces that I got. These two, are they both from the same range? I'm not sure, but they're really nice. I've seen them everywhere. I think loads of people have got them. Um, this one is like a little candlestick and this one's almost like a little vase. And they do a bigger version. I think the bigger one is about 12 pounds. Uh, but I just stuck with these two. I thought they could be quite nice sat on top of maybe coffee table books or something or shelves. They're both actually, both the same price, £3.50 each, which I think is a pretty good price for them. And then these are mega, mega bargains because they're only 25p each. And speaking of ribbed glassware that I'm liking at the minute, yes, ribbed glassware, they're little ribbed glass tea light holders. How cute are they? I don't want to keep saying very white company, but you guys know the drill. I only got three on this occasion. Potentially may go back and get more, but I thought they'd be quite nice as a table decoration, especially during the festive season, to have scattered tea lights and candles. I think will be really nice. Oh, I need to put these in the freezer, so I'll show you these next. I saw these, this was a checkout purchase, en route to the checkout. I couldn't resist not getting these. They're called Rosties. They're shredded potato pancakes. Look at that. They were only £1.10. I'm gonna go put them in the freezer in a sec, but I'll just show you the other foodie item that I got, again, on checkout. 4 95 I always love the little mini dimes that they do in Ikea, and they now have limited edition festive orange flavoured, so. You should see Tom's face right now. Oh, another thing, just because we're putting this marble on the worktops potentially, I got you these. I, when I say you, I got us these. Just little hot plate protectors to put down. You know, if you want you to put the pan on the side, it'll probably melt through that. These are the brackets that I got for the uh, curtain poles. I just went with white. I think they've got the same thing, same versions in black as well. And then for the ends of the curtain poles, I got these they do like a completely like spherical shape a sphere a ball and then they do these ones and i just thought these one looked a little bit nicer so i got those i think the brackets and those ends were between the one to two pound mark very affordable and then i also stocked up on another three of these i already have three i'm going to be filling this house with these sort of baskets so the fact that i stocked up on another few ow I'm sure I'll be getting more, many more of these in the future. They're quite small though. I wish they did a bigger version, but they're six pounds each. They do have the little handles on one side as well. They look quite nice side by side, even like inside cupboards to store things in, linen, napkins, linen things, towels, flannels, whatever, or even products as well. They could go in the pantry to put food and things in. So we'll find a use for them. And then I got two of these because we currently have two bathrooms or two toilets, but I may have to pick up more because we're looking to potentially add one or two. But they're just these toilet brushes in black, £4.50. I think these again are more expensive for Ikea. They do budget options at like a pound or less. But I thought these ones looked the nicest. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. This is a very H&M home. I know they do several in different shapes and sizes like this. And it's a little ball candle with the little bobble design on in white. 
It's called the Scud Range, and I just really like the aesthetic of this. Again, this is more of a an aesthetic home decor piece, not actually a candle to burn. So maybe on top of a little tray with a um, coffee table book, that sat on top would be really nice. I've got two things from the Christmassy range, Christmas products, although I am tempted to maybe get some more as we get a bit closer to Christmas. But for now, I picked up this little set of three, like, I, I wanna say glass, but then they're actually not. I think they're acrylic. Uh, they're little, Christmas trees, they do light up, but I don't know what color. Should we test it out? Because if it's colorful, they won't be being turned on, but I'm pretty sure they'll be white. How are you meant to open that? Surely they provide you a battery. Oh, I don't know if I'd recommend these actually then. I'm pretty sure they were five pounds as well. I would have thought, um, I know that's a lot really for that, isn't it? I just don't know what I was thinking. Oh, do you think it's cheap? <laughs> I'm such a bargain shopper. They had a bigger one as well that you could maybe sit in the middle and put these either side, maybe two on one side and one on the other. And I cannot believe that you have to buy your own battery. Really? Do you definitely have to buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll just keep them without the LED light, we'll see. Okay, then I also saw in the Christmas section this mold wine i love mold wine this one's only two pound 95. oh hang on a minute do you just do you add this to wine <laughs> mold fruit drink yeah there's no wine in that and then i went to the bargain corner because that's my favorite section and i did manage to get two bargains they're essentially little pine cone white candles again just like this one just for decor really they were two pound fifty full price but these ones were just one pound in the clearance and then i also spotted this again full price these are five pounds and i really love the look of it it's really good quality really heavy it's a photo frame with a kind of like beveled edging i just really really like it it's set back as well the photo so it's nice and this one was in the sale for £3.25 and I think the reason why is because on the bottom there's just a slight chip there but literally that's the only place you can see it so when it's stood up you're not even going to see that anyway. I quite like it just maybe stood somewhere with maybe a little decorative candle in front of it. So yeah £3.25 I picked this one up. I feel like we need some more photos to make this a bit more homely in here. Maybe a nice black and white one of us. This is the mess that I'm now currently working with down here. So I need to put all these bits away and then I'll also share with you the bits that I got recently in PR and also this Amazon box that I got today. I'll just quickly nip upstairs and show you one other thing that we've been buying from Ikea. So this has sort of been our temporary kind of wardrobe room. I mean that light does absolutely nothing so we'll leave it off. But just as a temporary fix, because we left our wardrobes where we lived at our old house. There were the Ikea Pax wardrobes and they were quite scuffed and old and we'll probably get new in the future. So we just picked up these rails. I think they're about six pounds each, six or seven pounds. They're pretty sturdy, pretty good. We actually still have a spare one. They're called the Mulleg. And then I still have some bits that I wanna hang up. So yeah, they've been actually really handy for us to just have as a temporary fix that maybe one day, because we'll be able to have a room each maybe as like a wardrobe room in this house we could have maybe freestanding rails or i could use them for haul videos or something but yeah i just thought i would share with you these rails which we've had for years but just stocked up on a load more right i think i'm going to show you my pr mail actually because why not and then close off today's video so if you're not interested in the pr unboxing or anything like that then thanks for watching and if you are let's head on downstairs and see what i have been recently sent the first thing i'll show you just because i need to pop it back in the fridge a restaurant in manchester called shoyu ramen which we've actually eaten at before now they're doing these diy kits that you can make ramen at home all the instructions and everything are in there really easy to follow so i'm sure tom will absolutely love creating that only takes 10 minutes to do okay we'll go in this room but as you can tell i've got quite a bit to get through so i'm going to rapid fire through these oh this 
windowsill is the perfect height for these little unboxings. Just before I get into the other PR mail bits, bits that I ordered or bought when I went to town the other day. Nespresso, oh my gosh, I've seen that they do pumpkin spice cake flavored coffee capsules, but it's for the Virtuo machine, not the one that I've got. So I was very disappointed when I found that out. And I nonetheless stocked up on some other capsules that I wanted to get my hands on. There's some new in ones though. The Barista Creations one, I've got Chiaro, Quarto and Coco Truffle. Wilco's, when I went in to get some paint and bits for the little mini kitchen makeover, I also spotted this. Ah! This new Sephora that they've done for autumn in Spiced Plum. This is nice, this is fruity, but it's also kind of cinnamony, good for like, warm cozy evenings kind of thing fruity raspberry ripe plum blended with warm cinnamon and clove finished on rich tones of patchouli and sandalwood i really really recommend that one i also got the new white company brochure i'm not gonna lie a little bit disappointed with the fact that it's more like an insert now rather than a proper brochure you know what i mean by that if you've received it you'll know what i mean but anyway it's nice to have a browse through, but I don't know if I'll actually be putting that one out on display like I do with my other ones. Where should I start? I'm going to start with this because I have actually shared this with you guys over on my Instagram stories already. This is the most beautiful housewarming little present that I very kindly got sent. I'll leave the girl's Instagram handle on screen. Do you know where I might put this actually? On our pantry door, It's I've painted it black in the kitchen. <gasps> yes, I could put that in the kitchen makeover video hang this up on there how pretty is that perfect for this season i'll show you this one because i actually got sent two of these i think it must have been a mistake this parcel i actually got sent two of so i've left that one sealed up and if any of you guys want it just message me over on instagram um, because there's no point in me having two of the exact same. I've opened this one up, so I'll just show you briefly what's inside. It's from Holland and Barrett. Some spirulina powder, I never know how to pronounce that. Cold and flu capsules, elderberry gummies, vitamin C and zinc. Immune support, some turmeric root brew tea, some vitamin C. Ooh, Manuka honey, chest rub with essential oils. And last but not least, some Super Berries powder blend. Oh, I have to show you this next. I can't believe I've not shown this first. Lydia, you guys know Lydia, one of my besties. Lydia Tomlinson has collabed with North Skull London. I knew this was going on and I couldn't wait to try it out and share it with you guys. They're an established menswear, but they've started doing women's wear as well. And now thanks to Lydia, I'm sure they're gonna be a huge success. There she is, look. Thank you so much to Lydia for sending me this. They sent me a personalized little jewelry pouch, little canvas bag, has one of them ring lights, and then two pieces of jewelry that I picked out. Firstly, these earrings, which they're nice and chunky, but quite simple at the same time. How pretty is that? Just such a simple design, I love them. And then I also very kindly got sent this bracelet. It's kind of like double layered, and it just wraps around like so. Very dainty, but really, really pretty. And I am so proud of your collection, well done. Oh, I got this from L'Occitan. They always send me an advent calendar, they're so generous. So I think it's gonna be a bit of a hunt. I think you open this up and there are some more boxes inside. I think I'm gonna actually save this for December. So thank you, L'Occitane. I'm actually running a giveaway for an advent calendar on last Sunday's video, the Cherries Hall. I think it's gonna end at some point by tomorrow. So if you're watching this live on Sunday, then make sure to enter if you've already entered why not enter again from elizabeth arden looked fantastic have collaborated with them and designed this beautiful box with different sections with a day 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 and night and day have i already shown this to you i can't remember if i've shown it on instagram stories or to you guys on youtube i also got sent from aurelia Pri Pro probiotic skincare so, oh, they've collaborated with Tan Lux. I forgot about this. Oh, yes. I love Tan Lux products. And they have included in here the Day Moisturizer. And then I love using Tan Drops um, on a regular basis just to keep a little bit of a glow. And these Tan Lux ones are amazing. They look like this. And you literally just put, I think it's like four to 12 drops 
in your moisturizer however often you want just to maintain a bit of a glow i got some goodies from flower and white i've had their meringues in the past they're so yummy and they have a couple of new christmasy treats we've got some festive meringue pops and meringue baubles and then these glitter balls as well in classic pops and party pops. Then Glossy Box kindly sent me this, a beauty tale in the making, open to release the spirit of Glossy, with the hint, hint being spirit. Cocktail making, we've got some little spirit bottles in here, Jägermeister cold brew, vanilla vodka white chocolate, Oh, what's this? Oh, espresso. Also got sent, oh, from Look Fantastic, they kindly sent me the Foreo Bear, None of the pain, all of the gain. Anti-shock facial device system thing. And then they included to use with it one of the Foreo serums. You guys know I love Foreo. I talk about them all the time. Last but not least, we have them here. I know what this is. I can't share it with you yet. How annoying is that? Let's just say it's something that I'm going to be including in my Pine Speed Clean With Me. I'm very excited to try it out. So with that being said, I feel like today's been a pretty lengthy, what was meant to be come to Ikea with me that's turned into a huge PR unboxing haul type video, bit of homeware updates. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Do let me know by popping a comment down below and giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.